My name is Gary Fradkin. I'm 62 years old. I snowboard, I windsurf, I do CrossFit. I can't stay in the house very long. I'm a post-production engineer and I've been in post-production since 1974. I was 57 and I had just had a physical and the blood work came back and my PSA and my creatinine levels were high, higher than last year. So um, my doctor sent me to a urologist and um, he had done an ultrasound and he had found that I had a tumor in my right kidney. He uh, told me that it was inoperable, I would lose the kidney. He sent me in for a CAT scan and found that I also had a tumor in my left kidney. He was uncomfortable operating on me and he referred me to Dr. Gill. Dr. Gill said that he was gonna, he thought he could save that right kidney. And he did, it was unbelievable. Dr. Gill first said to me, I'd like to try something new when he was gonna do my right kidney. And then when I came to him this time, and he says, I'd like to try something cutting edge that would give me the opportunity of have, being an outpatient rather than having to stay in the hospital. To me, it's pretty amazing and I wanted to do it because I thought if he wants to try it, I'm willing to do this. So this is a patient with a recurrent tumor in the right kidney. And our procedure is instead of cutting it out, we are going to use high intensity focused ultrasound to ablate the tumor, to just kill the tumor in situ uh, without having to cut it out. And we were going to do this robotically. And uh, to my knowledge, this would be the first case in the world uh, where high intensity focused ultrasound has been used to ablate kidney tumors. So why am I excited? I'm excited because for the same tumor, a partial nephrectomy, which is what we would have done ordinarily, would have lasted three, four hours, uh, would have had three, four hundred cc's of blood loss, would have had three to four days hospital stay, and about a month of recovery. Here, we got this procedure done quicker. Blood loss was barely 10 cc's, 15 cc's. Very good chance he's gonna go home today itself, and very good chance he'll be back doing his normal activities without any restrictions in the next two to three days. Having previous experience with Dr. Yo, I, I trust him. He is uh, pretty amazing. 